Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I want to read you a comment from someone and then read my reply in an effort to get you to understand that you shouldn't just eliminate a food because somebody said something about it. <laughs> okay. Um, most of you have pretty good common sense, but a lot of you you don't have the ability very well to think for yourself. Okay, so hopefully you'll see the logic in this video and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about some different foods and some examples of what I'm talking about here. Okay, so this person, this is the second time I've replied to this person and they can't get it into their head regarding oxalates. They wrote, spinach, chocolate, quinoa, nuts, etc. have high oxalates. It isn't the caffeine, Brett. It is the oxalates. I didn't say it was anything regarding the caffeine. I was saying that the caffeine in chocolate gives me a headache, especially when I get off the, the chocolate. On Facebook, trying low oxalates, the most accurate list. Okay, so also, when you write things, try and write it so that we can understand. Okay, that didn't make sense. That that specific sentence didn't make sen sense. Oxalates steel. You mean steel, S-T-E-A-L, minerals, and hold on to metals and bacteria, and store in your bo in your body, and they cause histamine reaction. Okay, once again. Please try and write decently. Okay, so I wrote, wrote you don't get it. You still don't get it. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I get so annoyed sometimes, y'all. Every food, every food has beneficial and detrimental qualities. Look up health benefits of spinach. That is... Does spinach have shit loads of vitamin A in it? <laughs> Is vitamin A something that you really need a lot of? Yes. <laughs> Do, does everyone have bad reactions to spinach? If you were to take spinach away from the American consumer or the way from the world, <laughs> what would happen? Is, is there, was there absolutely no purpose for God to put spinach on this earth? I mean, it's just such a ridiculous thing what people jump to conclusions for from reading something on the internet. Look up health benefits of quinoa or nuts. <clears throat> like, quinoa has been touted as one of the superfoods, okay? <laughs> it digests so easy. I mean, I love quinoa. Most people love quinoa. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes it's, a, it's good. Sometimes it's good to break down the body. People just automatically think that if something reduces minerals or it draws something from the body that that's a bad thing. It's not. These bodies have to be broken down. You cannot build a new building on an old site with an old building until you break that down with a wrecking fucking ball. Okay? And there are foods like the nightshades, like tomatoes, help to draw calcium from your body. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing when you eat peppers and it makes you sweat. <laughs> and it's a good thing to eat oxalates, too, when you feel like eating them. You, sure, you may need to get rid of or reduce oxalates for now. But to completely write them off is really, 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 really stupid. Okay? 
So, what you do is you listen to your body and you get a feel and a taste for each food and so that you know, well, is that something I really want right now? <laughs> it's good to have the knowledge on things as well, okay, because you know that if you're experiencing certain symptoms and those symptoms are directly associated with specific foods, then you know that you want to reduce or eliminate them maybe for a while, okay? But if you go vegan like I did, <laughs> thinking that, well, man, I was just having all these acid problems. Acid is associated with breathing smog and all kinds of yang things, yang things with living in the city, okay? So when you're breathing all of these chemicals and crap in the air, it throws you out of balance and then you may just assume that you need to become vegan or vegetarian because that's creating too much acid in your body. Okay, but then you find that years later you're starting to get deficient because you're going through all this cleansing. Will I always stay back to eating meat? Not necessarily, no. I may be vegan again someday. I won't call myself vegan. It's not likely though. It's likely that I'll just eat small amounts of meat. But the point is that you go with the flow with wherever you are in the moment because things may change radically tomorrow. And yes, it's good to educate yourself on all these different things, but you don't just you got to move, ebb, and flow, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and to make a, just a flat-out statement, I've done that in the past myself. I was a dumb shit, okay? So, don't you be a dumb shit and just become a this or that because someone told you to in like an 80-10-10 book. <laughs> so, I want to thank you for joining me. And um, there are lots of examples, but I'm going to end that here. Be well.